Hey guys, what's up? I'm John from Black Flag Dive Center and today we're talking about how to prep a new mask for scuba diving. What you may not know is that a lot of manufacturers will put a very thin layer of silicone on the inside and the outside of the lenses in order to prevent scratches and bumps and stuff like that during the shipping process. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize that in order to keep your mask from fogging quite as much, what you have to do is remove that thin layer of silicone so that when you do exhale from your nose and that warm, moist air is hitting those lenses, it doesn't have as much to stick to, okay? So today, I'm gonna show you three different ways to remove that inner layer of silicone so that your mask doesn't fog quite as much. Now, just as a caveat to this, it's not gonna prevent your mask from fogging all the time. You're still going to have to apply defog, some sort of solution. We like the stream to see stuff because it's reef safe and it works great. But whatever you choose, you're still gonna have to apply that to the inside of the mask before you dive. However, this is going to help no matter what. Now guys, the first method that I like to use is really simple, okay? What I've got here is a, a warm dish sponge, right? So it's not brand new, because we don't want to scratch the inside of the lenses. But it's worn enough so that it's a little bit abrasive on the inside of the mask. And it's really simple, guys. All I'm gonna do is take some soapy water, okay? And with this one, I already have some soap in my sponge here, so no worries there. And I'm just gonna scrub at it. Now, what you're gonna have to do is work pretty hard in order to get all of that silicone to come off of there. All right, so I'm rubbing pretty hard here. I'm giving it some elbow grease. Just like that. And I'm not gonna spend too much time doing this because I'm just trying to show you as an example, but Rinse the mask off. And you can tell if you've done a good job if when you breathe into the mask from the inside, it doesn't fog. So, I'm not quite done yet is what that means. So, if I were using this method, I would just continue to scrub and breathing on the inside of the mask until it doesn't fog like this anymore. The second method that you can use involves some sort of abrasive toothpaste and a toothbrush. Now, you don't really need a whole lot of toothpaste, but you do need something gritty. What I suggest a lot of times is something with baking soda in it, or you can actually add baking soda to your toothpaste in order to make it a little more abrasive. And all we're gonna do is very similar to the first method, we're gonna get in here with our toothbrush and we're gonna scrub, 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 scrub. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna use that abrasiveness in the toothpaste to sort of scrub away that thin layer of silicone. Now, again, this may take some time, okay? So be patient with it. Don't just give up after your first try. You're probably gonna have to sit here and scrub for quite some time. My advice to people when they do this is, hey, you know, when you think you've scrubbed enough, keep scrubbing. All right, we'll rinse off our mask. We'll exhale to the, on the inside of it just to give it a test. Oh, that's looking much better. Much better. Oh yeah, it looks like we're doing a good job here. Okay, and the reason I know that is because when I'm breathing that warm, moist air out of my lungs into the inside of the mask, I'm not seeing any fogging, okay? Now, the last method that I'll show you involves fire. Now, this can be dangerous, okay? Because you can burn the silicone on the mask and prevent it from creating a seal. So while this is a method that you can use, it's not highly recommended. Honestly, guys, I had a whole lot of success just now with the toothpaste and toothbrush method, but I wanna show you this anyways. 
if you take a lighter, and honestly, a, a longer grill lighter is the better option. This is just happens to be what we have in the shop. If I take a lighter and I come underneath the lens here and I start to burn it, what you'll see is that a thin layer starts to move outward. Okay, you see that? There it goes. It's starting to move outward. Okay, and what that is, is that it's that thin layer of silicone burning off of there. Now, yes, it's turning it black. I know. Don't worry. You're going to be able to wash that off when you're done. Not sure if the camera is capturing exactly what's going on here. I hope it is. But all that silicone is now burning off, moving towards the edges. And keep in mind, guys, you don't have to get super close to the edges because you just need to be able to see. If the outside of the lens fogs a little bit, that's okay. You just need to be able to see out of the main portion of it. Now, I like to be pretty thorough with this because I can't stand it when I can't see out of my mask. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Now, what I don't want to do is immediately dip this mask that's nice and hot into cold water because that can crack the glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to rinse it and give it a wipe down with a paper towel and then we'll test it again. A few moments later. All right, guys, it's been a couple of minutes, so the glass is cooled down. I'm going to dip it in the water, give it a rinse. What I like to do is you can actually get at it with this paper towel before you dip it in the water and remove a whole lot of that soot that's left over. And keep in mind that that soot is what you burned off. Okay, so while it looks bad at first, you know, with just a little bit of work with a paper towel, you're going to be able to get all that black off of there, no problem. And if you happen to be doing this and holding a sponge like I am, then it makes it a whole lot easier to get all of that out of there. So I'm just going to give it a rinse here. Wash it with my dish sponge a little bit. Shouldn't be too much work here. I've got most of that soot off of there. Again, guys, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of elbow grease will definitely get anything that's in there out. So no problem there. And boom, we have a finished product that hopefully will fog less than it would have when it came from the factory. Let's give it a test. All right, guys, now that I'm done prepping my mask, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a final test here. As you can see, not a lot of fogging going on. Now, again, you're still gonna have to apply a little bit of defog before you go diving. We like the stream to sea mass defogs. This stuff's awesome. It works really, really well, and it's reef safe, which we all love, right? Because we wanna leave it better than we found it. I hope that this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them down below. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. We hope to see you next time.